Hello, everybody. Welcome to a very special one-off on God's Bane, the tactical PvP auto battle that we checked out like a month or so ago. We're back at it again for a very special reason, I'm happy to say. This video is sponsored by Project Hyperdrive to make you guys acutely aware of the fact that this game is right now 50% off in conjunction with the release of Season 1, which... I'm very excited to share that news because I do love this game. After that last video, I genuinely put in like 40 hours off camera, which I never do with a lot of the games I play. I don't usually put that much in off camera. Uh, I, I did a grind up to the maximum rank in, in ranked mode, and I'm very excited to check out what has been added and what is new because in the season one patch that is out now, there's a couple of new heroes uh, and, and powers and stuff like that that we can check out. I have added a couple to my deck. We have the, the new rogue that is new in this new patch. Uh, this unit was added since we last played as well on the channel. So I'm going to put that in. Got a couple uh, couple other stuff. I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know how the meta has shifted. So I don't know if we're just going to go in and get bodied. But I do have a good... Oh, this is a nice thing. You can actually just pick your deck. Uh, what did I make that under? I just made it. I made it under the ranked tab. That's a nice, uh, nice feature. It's not like a wild feature or anything. But hey, that wasn't there the last time I played. But I'm going to pause until we get in. I'll let you know how long it takes. Okay, never mind. That took no time at all. That was... <laughs> <laughs> literally eight seconds <laughs> okay i'll unpause it right here but we'll get in i'll go over the basics once more uh if you are not familiar but effectively we have our side of the field right here they have their side of the field right here we have mana if you played an auto chess game you will be familiar with what's going on down here we've got basically our shop i'm going to take this i'm going to put it down here we also have some abilities i'm going to re-roll because i think it's Personally, I think it's usually pretty good to try and get a really big field out. So I'll put this stuff down and hopefully we can... Uh, sorry to you if you are here watching. I'm going to be taking a little bit of time to explain the game a little extra. We have our units. We place them down. And then in between rounds, we will be able to move. Whoever wins moves their pieces first, which is not an advantage. However many pieces you have left at the end of the battle, we'll see what he puts down right here. Will do damage equal to, I believe, like, their level. They changed the algorithm of how much damage gets dealt a little bit, so I'm not entirely sure what it is. And I'm not even entirely sure if any of the pieces I have uh, are, like, in the meta anymore, so hopefully we're going to be able to outwit, outplay, outlast them, or etc, etc. Oh, wait, that's Survivor. But yeah, we're doing just fine. We did lose our Berserker. I'll explain what the pieces do. I'll explain what the abilities do. Uh, we have our Spirit Wolf here. Basically, every as they attack, they fill up their mana bar. If you played an auto chess game, that's not a new concept. When it fills up, they will do their ability. His ability does damage and then heals him up a little bit. Okay, so I, I just... I literally just smashed in the new units, and I don't know if they have any place in my deck. So, we'll put in this new one. New since the last video, not new in this newest patch. Strike the current target, silencing them and dealing and all enemies in a one-tile cone from the target. I'm assuming behind and dealing piercing damage. Well, I am going to put you down for now. Uh, I'm going to put on Harden. So every, you can see everybody has a slot for an item. You can put it there. Uh, you can also drag pieces onto them to slowly fill up that bar. When it reaches the max. Okay, we got Rogue. Let's just, okay, we got to go. Redirect. I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, but, so basically, uh, we can put in the ability, an interesting thing that's kind of unique about this game is, in all, like, pretty much all auto chess games, you can level up your units. In this game, you can also level up your items by dragging additional copies on. But, so, like I said, since we won, we get to go first. Uh, I say get to, I mean have to. We don't want that because that means they get the time to retaliate. Uh, I will try and explain more or less uh, why we're doing what we do in a moment. These guys are a little bit tankier. This guy, I, he does have a thing on that is like a cleave. So I will want him up, but we can only move two things. So I move my two things. And now they get to move their two things in retaliation. Maybe they have a unit that does blunt damage. And we have a unit who is weak against blunt damage. I mean, we don't. <laughs> But theoretically, that could be a situation that happened. It seemed like they had information overload, or maybe they just thought that their units were already in a good spot, which seems to maybe be the potential case. Uh, new Centaur unit man went down pretty quickly here. Uh, we've got the Spirit Wolf taking out this Treant, which is a little bit more of a support unit. 
generally helps to keep the other people alive more than keeping themselves alive here. And we actually do look like we may, uh, may be dropping a game here, largely on the back of the Voidbringer. Okay, or maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, we didn't get our ability off. It's a big AoE stun. That would have been huge. Okay, we chomp. And now we do a little bit of a bite. This is going to be very tight. If we get this ability off, we might make it. Nope, no, no dice. Okay, so clearly what we need to take from that is the Voidbringer was a big issue. It was a big issue. We need to do something about it. Uh, step one, let's level you up. That gives them more stats. This person's ability is it's an AoE stun, uh, more or less. It does a little bit of damage, but mostly it is for the stun. Uh, let's go for put the Berserker on there. That's doesn't do anything right now, but it'll help us later. We'll put on Adapt, which increases the damage of the Chomp ability. So that's going to be nice. And then at this point, it's like, do I? why would I even reroll? I guess I would reroll to try and find the Rogue upgrade. No dice. Uh, but we do have the Berserker there. You know what? Sure. And what's Adrenaline do? Oh, it was nerfed. It was nerfed big, actually. 22% attack speed, but take extra blunt damage. I'll put that on my Rogue. Who is the new unit teleport to the furthest enemy unit silencing them for a second and then deal damage uh so we're gonna try and probably have that be so that it will target the void bringer who seems to be doing their highest damage uh that being said so it says that you are a, t a defensive unit but you went down pretty quick okay <laughs> all right <laughs> they're just styling um i'll tell you what I'm going to move you up here so you're targeting, and I'm going to actually move this here. It may not cause us to win this time, but I think it's important that we get this Wild Axe proc hitting all three of these enemies, because that also causes them to uh, to miss some attacks. And you see our rogue did teleport to the back line and was taking out them. Oh, but that's right. You just keep on teleporting around. That's Is that always beneficial? I don't know. I don't know if it's always beneficial, but you can see just splitting up our damage a little bit more evenly ended up making a really big difference. The assassin, the uh, rogue here is teleporting all over the board every which way from Sunday. All right. Now, on with our uh, our forever journey of slowly telling you what all these pieces do. We got the Berserker gain stun immunity with their active ability, gain stun immunity. Which actually works now. It's been patched to actually work. It used to have an issue, but it's been fixed. The devs have done a great job with that. 83% uh, increased attack speed for three seconds as well. And your attacks do blunt damage. I mean, it's it's nice. Why not? Why not? I'm going to try and fish for a rogue. When you hit level three with a unit, they actually unlock a second item slot, which is very nice. Sure, I'll just do this. I don't know what the... To make it clear, I don't know what the proper items are for these new units i haven't played them i i have not played them i don't know what it, the proper uh thing to be would would be but the more the rogue attacks the more they teleport around the more they teleport around the more chaos starts to happen okay they have put down the heavy gunner who is a big dps unit if they get to keep on attacking the same target it ends up being very very valuable for them um I'm going to slowly move myself over like this because I am going to kind of bottleneck them into this spot. I don't know if this is great for right now, but the thing is they can't move diagonal here. They can't move through me. So if they want to do any big readjustments, I kind of get to dictate what's going to happen here. Uh, it says that he can do that, but I think that that's not actually true. I think that once again, we're just going to see see them say, you know what, sure. And to be honest, I don't think it's inherently a stupid call. Like, I don't think I'm particularly, um, I don't think I have this particularly laid out perfectly. I think that the heavy gunner is going to do lots of damage to us if we do not uh, take them out here with the wolf, which we are going to. Looking pretty good there. Good chomp. Teleporting to the back here. Going to hopefully be able to take out the Voidbringer. This is a very interesting unit, because they, yeah, they, they really do just create havoc more than anything. Because you'd almost, in my head, I was like, oh, yeah, they're going to teleport once, and they're going to take out the back line, and that's just what they're going to do. Do we lock for adrenaline? Maybe. Maybe we should have. Uh, we could try and get the Berserker up to level three, which would be uh, very funny. There is economy, and it actually is a lot better than it used to be, too, I will say. Uh... It used to be like on every three, 
gold saved, you would get one extra gold. But now it is on every two. So it actually, that's a, it's like a massive change, in fact. So we did see they are desiring to move them out of here. Also, I got, I, I just noticed, uh, to get the items from level two to level three, they also changed that. It's, uh, it's a lot quicker. I, I gotta be real. Like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Until I see what they want to do, it's, it's been working. I believe they got a level up on something. What do they level up? Oh, do they level up their wolf? The wolf is a three cost unit, so. Yeah, he's very expensive. We're not seeing a lot of the tactical elements of positioning going on here. But uh, they're getting a lot of level ups, so they just got a much bigger power spike this time than I did. But the thing is, I'm really close to having my Berserker go absolutely nuts. It's going to take a little bit, but... Um, ooh, good move there. Yeah, this teleporting around. How useful is that unit right now? I'm sure there's a use for it, but it, I think that it might require a more specific item... Or, like, a team uh, that's really, really scattered around. Like, maybe if we're going against a very, very scattered team or something. Key targets. Yes, I know that the, uh, the enemy Voidbringer is dealing lots of damage. Consider moving units. To Thank you. It's actually nice that they do have this. That is that is a good idea. Um, to be honest, like, in order to get to them, it would take a very long time. And if I target my... At this point, if I move my rogue up there, it's not even going to help. Because uh, by the time I get there, please. Oh my god, I got a level 3 Berserker already. Okay, that's going to be kind of funny. Uh, we still are sitting at a level 1 of this and a level 1 of that, which I would say is a big bottleneck for us. But I think that Berserker level up is going to be really nice. And we'll see um, We'll see what we can do about that. They're, they're, they're going to move. Hopefully they, do, they don't care. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Sure. I... Uh, I'll do it because the game said so. Let's scoot that around there. Uh, I do agree that it is a good idea. I kind of was just like, this person seems kind of new. I don't know how much I want to ruin their, their day and turn them off of playing this game. <laughs> that, that's also a factor here. But look at this. Their defender forms a shield wall for three seconds, taking 30% reduced damage, reflecting all basic attacks. Back uh, is going to be a pretty gnarly thing for our Berserker to have to deal with here. It's very much a no you moment. And it's working incredibly well. I will say I'm pretty sure this character got nerfed a bit since I last played. They used to be really broken. But things seem to be uh, a little bit more logical <laughs> there for the damage. We still have an extra item slot on him. Let's think. So do you do blunt damage? You do blunt damage. You do piercing damage. Uh, battle shout every five seconds give all allies within one tile an attack speed boost i'm kind of interested in going for this um we could put on harden which is after taking fatal damage uh you heal for 30 and then you become immune i could put that on him but i'm not too worried about it right now um that being said there is no point to roll unless i want like a one cost item so fine i'll just say sure because I think we'll be all right there. My move. Your move. Oops. Oh, I beefed it. I beefed it. Uh, let's go for this. Ah, I like this better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They might move the tree ant out. And honestly, I don't think that that'll help them that much. Bonds with the nearest ally in range, healing them for 240 health over six seconds and taking some of that damage themselves. Uh... Yeah, if we can take out the Heavy Gunner before it does anything really spooky, that's going to be very nice. And yeah, look at the Berserker going absolutely disgusting over here. Taking, yeah, taking the uh, the chart by storm. It's annoying that we don't get the extra benefit of Wild Axe's cleave. That's the reason I didn't want to have them up there, but obviously we are going to completely ruin this guy's day. <laughs> uh, that being said, Kiros, what, what do we do about you, man? What do we do about you? I feel like it's more of a counterpick piece than anything. Like, we put him down and we invest in him if it seems like they've really decided to clump up specifically. But I'm not noticing that being the, the situation right now. 
I'll just do some cheap upgrades, see if we can find... There we go. We can upgrade Kiros. And we're good. Just... We're good. At this point, I will be shocked if we don't win this one. But it could happen. I've seen really gnarly turnarounds happen. Uh, some people had issues with, like, it feeling like it was too hard to come back. I never had that issue, per se, as often. I felt like I had lots of opportunity to come back, and I've had lots of enemies come back. Um, but they have made some tweaks uh, to make that happen. You used to only get interest in the event that uh, you won. I don't believe that that is the case anymore. I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that one. But yeah, we're going to be taking down the Voidbringer. It feels like they kind of just gave up at, at that point there. When they saw the level 3 Berserker, they just... They, they kind of just said, nah... But we're going to do a little bit of choppa chopping. We're seeing a decent amount of damage come out from the Spirit Wolf. And you might be like, man, that's so weird. Why does it seem like the Spirit Wolf is doing so much damage? That seems so imbalanced. You got to remember it costs three mana. That's a really big deal. All right, so we took a win there. We took a win there. Which, cool. I like, I don't need the win. I just want to showcase some stuff. Casual. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm playing. Uh, I don't want to play ranked right now. I'm not I'm not interested in that. Honestly, the game could end up even being easier because there was a ranked reset. Now is a really good time to come in and join uh, because not only is there a ranked reset, it used to be that you would have to buy the units with gold, which is just an in-game currency. You couldn't pay for it. Um, basically, you just get everything now. You just get everything. You, you launch the game right now. You have all the pieces. You get to do whatever you want. You don't have to worry about it. There's, there is no pay to win. It's literally pay to play the game, and then you're done. Uh, but yeah, I wonder what could we do to make the rogue better, too. I bet you there's something interesting. Let's see. Is there... I could theorycraft all I want. I'm, I'm going to pause. I'll theorycraft something. I'll be back. All right. I don't know, man. I think we'll probably try out Pilfer because here's the thing. Like, if I put adrenaline on them, they're going to be teleporting around very quickly. And like I said, I, if I'm putting them down, if I'm picking Rogue, it's probably because I want to have a good unit to take down a back line. Uh, so maybe if we Pilfer at the start of the round, steal attack damage from somebody you're standing by. Uh, maybe if we put that on them, we can steal attack damage from somebody scary and then we'll teleport to a back line. I don't know. I, it's just, I'm theorycrafting a little bit. I, I'm not going to sit here for forever and, and figure it out too much, but that's just, that's what I changed. I'll be right back. All right. That one took about like 15 seconds. Not too bad. Just I, like, if I'm cutting it out, I don't want it to be like, oh, he's hiding the whatever. Like, you know, uh, boop, boop. Okay. So we got our rogue. We got the wild axe. Should I put Pilfer on now? Like ahead of even knowing what the heck they've got? I feel like it's a better idea. Like I always have said, I think I also probably shouldn't have purchased the wild axe yet. Just in case I'll put down the wolf. And against my better judgment, I am going to put down the adrenaline on the rogue right now and lock this. Cause I do want to get the devourer having five, like all five of our pieces on the field is going to be very nice. Um, I can always sell the Adrenaline right now, if that is something I'm interested in. You'll see a lot of Spirit Wolves, because it's just like, it's a very clearly effective unit that is not too difficult to figure out how to make them work. It's basically like, do a lot of damage, and they stay alive. There are, like, you'll see tier rankings, or like, rarity levels on units. In the past, I thought it meant, you know, like, this This is supposed to be a stronger unit, but it just shows up in the pool less often. That's not the case. It literally just means... The, the only thing that the rarity means on them, uh, which, like, I can't find it right now. I can't find exactly what I want to showcase. But we'll put it here in a second. We'll put Negate on our Devourer. Whenever an enemy within one tile of him casts an ability, they will take magic damage, and they will be silenced. So, feel like it's not a bad idea. I could also have sold it. At this point, I'm like, man, should I just go in on the adrenaline? We probably should have just not purchased it, locked, and saved the money for interest. 
I gotta retool my brain. I played so much of this game when it was a, a three cost thing. Reflect 14% of all damage back as blunt damage. All right. All right. Uh, Irali is very scary. Um, I'm going to start with you because I don't want to get that damage reflected back. I have a sneaking suspicion this person's going to move their units. In my heart, I want to think that this person will move their units. Come on. Come on. I want to fight someone who will move their units. Oh, screw you. Okay, there we go. Irali, I... Uh, you all right? It's not dumb, because this uh, this unit does AoE. That worked out really well for us, though, actually. Because we are going to be taking them down. We jumped to the back and we silenced. Or no, it doesn't silence. Why were they silenced? Were they... They weren't in range of the Devourer? No way. Uh, no way. They weren't in range of that, were they? Anywho, uh, Kiros. Well, if they're playing with positioning, it may actually come into play here. I'm happy to get ourselves another upgrade on the Spirit Wolf. Oh, we gotta choose. You're making me pick. All right, I'll do this because we, um... I'll do this because we, uh... Hit level 3 Berserker first last time. Spirit Wolf is just an incredible unit. Like, if you're new to the game and everything seems too complex, uh... Dude, just pick Spirit Wolf until you get your bearings and you can go for something more complex. It remains good. It remains good even at higher levels if it hasn't been nerfed. I, I don't know. Uh, I can't speak for if it's been nerfed too much, but I I think it's just a, it's a solid unit and it's not complex to use. That's why it will feel like it's... It, it might feel to people like it is a broken unit. So he's going to move his Irali out. Um... So I guess I shouldn't focus too much on building into it. Like, if I put a piece here, he's going to be like, all right, okay, oh, I need to move my Raleigh. In this situation, he may still. But um, I want to get some pieces over here and ready. This allows me to at least... Um, yeah, okay, that's kind of what I figured there. He's moving that out so that I'm no longer going to, uh, to silence. I don't care if Kiros dies here. Like, he's doing his job. He is taking... Oh, that's what the silence was. That's why I wasn't familiar with it. It's Kiros. He's new to me. Here we go. We're going to go for a chomp. This may look grim, but it is all on the back of uh, the fact that we invested lots of material into the Spirit Wolf, who is probably not actually going to do it here because we're stunned one little bite. One bite would have actually maybe let us get the Arali. Uh, Irali has been a very strong unit for a while as well. It's a good, solid carry. But there we go. We hit the level 3. We took a lot of turns to uh, invest in just making ourselves uh, stronger later. Hopefully now we can get a little bit more advantage now. Battle Shout doesn't make sense on Kiros if we're not going to have him buy our team. Okay, we could get that Pilfer, or I think it's a better idea to go for Devourer. Like, the amount of HP you get for upgrading is just so big. Uh, and then I think we'll start moving some units in. Uh, they've put us in a spot now where I think that we might be able to, like, nearly trap their Arali. Depending on what moves they make here, we might be able to trap this piece, which, as soon as we do that, they're gone, basically. Uh, this ability is that they summon an AoE bomb, basically. Oh, I don't... Th yeah, okay. Okay, they're putting them in a corner. That makes sense. But... Also, I think we're going to be fine now. Alright, we need to take a little bit of time to just... Um... Oh, God. We need to take a little bit of time to make sure that we help ourselves out next turn. If we win this one, we get to go first next time, which means we might be able to box them in entirely. And if we box them in entirely, there's no way in hell. Because we have a, a good unit that cleaves, and then we have uh, the Mr. Man who's dead, who I would like to utilize. The Rogue is doing some good work, though. I can't be mad. The Rogue's doing good, clean work. 
Do you silence? They do silence. Duh. That's what it is. Okay, yeah, that, no, it's really nice. I read it and I was like, this silences, and then I looked at it a second time and I just didn't, didn't see the word. But yeah, it does silence. I, I like this, uh, I like it. I like it, I like it. I think it's a good answer to uh, something that was strong in the meta prior. I'm going to ditch that and get go for Pilfer. I, I want to give it a shot. Go big, go home. Yeah. All right. Also, I wouldn't be opposed to getting another Wild Axe because they they seem like they're trying to make corner action happen. I'm going to I'm going to keep it. Maybe we can upgrade our Wild Axe to make it do more damage because they look like they want to create a little annoying clump thing here. And I don't want to let them Sim simple as that. I just don't want to let them. Um. I feel like I could have done that better. Because they, but they can move out. They're going to have to take a lot of time to... Uh, here we go. We'll move this here because we want to be in range of both of them. This kind of sucks and they're probably going to die. But I have a sneaking suspicion they're going to move one of these pieces. It's because they don't want to be pilfered. But honestly, it's a little bit of a bluff. Because I think if I steal their, their damage, I'm going to end up dying anywho. So right now I'm stealing 10 attack damage from this wolf. I'll hit them a little bit, and then we're going to teleport into this corner, which they have so graciously given me an opening for. Oh my goodness. That... Living on that amount of HP is hilariously silly. We uh, we did get wrecked by the, uh, the blunt damage there. But you can see what I'm talking about. Irali, if left unchecked, is very annoying. And it was able to be left unchecked because that one tile space... But I'll tell you what, if they don't play this turn incredibly well, they're stuck in that corner forever. So I think we can make it work for us. I really do. And I don't know how the cone works in this event. But the fact that um, the Devourer no longer could hit them there was uh, one of the bigger, bigger situations. I wouldn't mind a shout. Let's try and get Kiros doing his thing. And gate. So we can hopefully silence. Okay. Uh, another cleave upgrade and another silence. Uh, silence upgrade is what we're going for there. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. They're in a really tricky spot. I would say they're going to probably move this unit to the left. And it... Yep. And then... Yep, yeah, boy howdy, boy howdy. Yep, that is that's uh that is that's the meta I remember. Put my units in a corner so I don't have to make anything. Uh, gotcha. All right, so we're still there. We're still there. I don't know if it's strong. Uh, I'll tell you what. We're definitely moving this there, and I think we move this here, regardless, because we do want to get the AOE steal of all of the attack. See, it has plus thirty there. So if we can get this wolf out of the way quickly, it means that we're going to be able to teleport to a pretty good spot. Right there, we were able to teleport the rogue into the back line and get out the Araldi. That is what this unit was designed to do to hopefully stop this issue that a lot of people were creeping up with. So seems like it it seems like it's doing its job. Seems like it's doing its job. Oh, you don't say. Yeah, don't say the Arali's doing lots of damage. It's, all, it's almost like they're completely in a box, unable to be touched. I'm doing my best, okay? Alright, uh, Battle Shout is tempting. I'll do it. So they've already locked in. I could, I could go with Spirit Wolf, but here's the thing. It doesn't make sense to invest in something that big. Doesn't make sense not to live for fun. Your brain gets heart. Well, what? Heart? Brain gets heart. But the brain fart gets dumb. Uh, I could lock this, get the extra money, go for something. Or I would rather just spend the two and then let myself get a full shop reroll in the next turn. Yeah, no. See, this is why I don't like corner strats, because now I like this person the way. This doesn't happen a lot in the higher level play, but it does happen, you know. Okay, so move them out of the way. So that is going to target our Berserker. It's a smart call. It also moves them out of the range of the Pilfer. 
creates a situa situation for me that's a little bit trickier. You did this to us. I don't know what to say. I didn't want to play corner boys, but you wanted to play corner boys. Okay, so we teleported to such a weird spot there. That was not great. We're going to teleport, hopefully, to the back line You're right there. We did get the stun and the silence, rather, on the uh, Raleigh. Going to hopefully take them out before we teleport away. Please don't teleport away. God, you stinker. Oh, that's the issue, though. That's the issue, though. But see, the thing is, if we t if we have more attack speed, we're going to be teleporting away more often, which I would consider to be worse. But this win, I, I think, settles it here. As long as we get, like, any mediocre, okay shop rolls here, uh, we're going to do great. So we maxed out that for us. I would like to see Kiros level up. At this point, I think we just, like, hard roll uh, anything that will level us up. Uh, battle shout. Hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. How much attack do you do? How much attack do you do? How much? The Void Beast is doing a lot of damage. Um, I don't think. Here's the thing. Like, I could move Kiros here. I, I, I just don't want to mess with it, unfortunately. Because if I move Kiros here and then I move this here to try and get the damage from this and this, guess what he's going to do? He's just going to... If he had... Well, okay. If, they, if he has sense, he moves this back like one space. Uh, and it's basically the same thing. So, unfortunately, we're playing the corner game, bucko. But I've got the corner buster here. And the good news is, if I lose this, I'm one level away from... Uh, or one unit away from upgrading this. I'm one uh, pip away from upgrading the adapt. I like it. That being said, I don't feel like I saw a whole lot of level ups here. So yeah, we got the good silence. You see that? That's exactly what Kiros is for. That's what he's for, baby. You play corner, I'll play corner. I'm fine with that, dude. Mess around, find out. That being said, it looks like I might actually take the L here because Irali is sitting at basically no HP because my assassin just can't make up their mind. My assassin's like, I don't know, man. I think I kind of want to leave. I don't, I, I'm, I'm sick of my life of assassinating. I'm actually going to go do something else. Why don't you ask me later, Krabby? Uh, I'll go for that, I suppose. Kiros, Kiros. Do we want Harden or Negate? Negate could be okay. What's your thing? Sting the target for pierce damage and reduce their attack speed. I mean, it's annoying. Don't get me wrong. Uh, it's basically do I want Negate or Harden on Kiros? That'll make the biggest difference is adding an entire extra ability. Uh, you know, I'll go with Negate. It's a little extra damage. Hopefully gets them out of here quicker. I don't really like that the rogue is killing themselves on this. Like, I wish I could make them switch places. Actually, I can. I can. Because they move first. I can make them switch places. Would you look at that? I, that that only works if we move for if we uh, if we lose. Oh, but that targeting is interesting here. Oh, that's actually that actually sucks. They got level three Araldi. That's gonna cause a big problem. Because again, we are we're gonna be teleporting out of here before we can even do anything. Look look again. Tell teleports out. Teleport out. Araldi doing Araldi business. That that has not changed. That has always been that way. And he's sitting in the corner. I have two characters that completely bust corner meta. And it's still destroying me. <laughs> it's still destroying me. I don't like the rogue's placement here. But the good news is we can now fix it. Like, I don't like it's back that it's back here because we can't get Pilfer going. I'm well aware of the fact that my moving that uh, did cause a problem there. Let's see. We could go for... A negate upgrade at this point. I, I don't know that I can necessarily upgrade too much else. It's basically what 
little things can I do? That's kind of where we're at. I might as well do this, because this is probably going to be the big game-changing moment one way or another. They got their level 3 Arali. It's sitting in the corner. They're going to be able to do whatever the heck they want with it there. But we do have the uh, secret weapon of the rogue actually getting to activate his pilfer again. That's going to be very nice. I don't think that that's the idea, man. Wait. I don't think he should have... I have to be honest. I don't think that that, was, um, that should have happened. But we'll see. Because it will actually mean when we move in, we're still going to target the Void Beast. So that's kind of annoying. We could um, swap target on you. I think that's an okay idea. Because we're not getting any kind of other business going on. It's all right. Look at that damage from Arali. It teleport The AoE bomb was back here. It was back here because it had nowhere else to go. We're going to teleport into a... What happened there? We, got, we teleported into a Raleigh. Corner buster. Cool. This guy exists to stop people who put their four units in a corner and we lost to it anyways. A Raleigh. 4,000 damage. What could I have done? It was in the corner. <laughs> what could I have done? I don't know. Oh, man. All right. Okay. So that never mind. That's still alive and well. Hopefully, you know, there's going to be things that will tweak and fix that. But hey, if you're watching this, don't be a degenerate. Okay. Easy as that. Easy as that. Just don't be a degenerate and we'll have a good time. Uh, let me see if I can find something new. One moment. All right. I have now added a AOE bouncing unit and a unit who attacks and their shots bounce in an AOE. It is another thing that is strictly to counter that concept. Uh, we'll see how that turns out. Did I, uh, let's see, was that under my, yeah, it's under my ranked. All right, I'll be right back. All right, 16, oh, I think, I, did that get on? 16 seconds. Not too bad, not too bad. And hopefully after this video, you guys will check it out. Hopefully, hopefully. Alas, uh... We just got our level threes again out front. I don't mind it. I'm going to hit a reroll and see what else we got. Okay. Oh, somebody says hi. Hello. Do I lock this stuff? I might. I don't know why I put the rogue there. I, I feel like I, I need more theory crafting. Like, I need more theory crafting. I need to understand what to do with the rogue. Because most of the time you can't just blindly put something in your deck and have it work. Usually, like, there's a reason to... Energy boots. I've never seen this actually used. That's exciting. Oh, that's smart. Yeah. Whenever it teleports... See, there you go. Maybe that's the meta for it. Whenever it teleports, does it get it? It gets... Oh, it does. That's the meta for it. That actually... See, there you go. That's a... I don't think it's going to make them win, but look at that. That's actually, that's great. That's exciting because that's an item that never saw play. That's pretty fun. It, it's the, that, that's what I like about the game is it's about finding these weird little uh, combo ideas. I, I'm going to go for that, sure. I'll slap on adapt, adapt a slap. Uh, I'll tell you what we could do. It's a little dumb, but so am I. Two wolves. There's nothing stopping you from doing it. There's no set bonuses. There's none of that stuff going on. So I'm going to keep this too because it will probably... Um, do I want the... I want the Berserker to level up. We'll, we'll do it. I would I would not say it's advisable if you ever want my... Like if I ever want my Spirit Wolf to be level 3, it's not really going to happen this way. So I would say, yeah, inadvisable. We got Dark Mage, Lightsmith. I, I'll just say that this unit is the one I'm most scared of. They basically do extra damage, and then whenever, or they do a lot of damage, and whenever an ally casts a spell, they get mana back, so they can do that huge amount of damage more. So what this person is doing right here is they're trying to split their team up because of the Granadier. I. Uh, you see, we're throwing that little bomb. It's uh, bouncing around. I will say the rogue is an amazing counter to this unit, which unfortunately I don't think necessarily needed countering that hard. But uh, 
is an amazing unit for destroying that person's life. But yeah. Energy boots, I'm seeing the, the value massively here. Super cool. Okay. So I can't put down Kuros, but also... They're not gonna corner... You're not gonna play corner strats, are you? Do we dab? Do we pilfer? I'll preemptively pilfer. Get the upgrade on the Granite Deer. Not that I think it's gonna necessarily matter. I will lock the Wolf, and also I'm trying to... Because I want to lock Wild Axe. Um... Adrenaline. I could put Adrenaline on the other wolf so that we're not trying to split Adapt so much. And I'm not going to be putting Adrenaline on anybody else, so... Uh, let's definitely scooch in here. There we go. I know that this is going to be targeting them, but guess what? We have just forced them to be unable to do a corner strat meme dream. So I'll, I'll take it. Like, this is gonna, this is going to take a little bit of setup. I'm going to just... I'm banking on my team being stronger than them. Uh, even in an improper setup. You can't move that far. You can move that far. And I would say it's a good idea. But you are kind of abandoning Mana Hound entirely at that point. So no, never mind. It's a stupid idea. Because this is not a good situation. Let me tell you. This is not good right now. But it's a bad placement in order to stop... Something from happening later and look at he's gonna hopefully be able to you know keep them occupied for like 12 years here uh, We're doing all right, but then yeah the Little squad over here teleport out. Oh my god. Oh, we got nuked by I was like, why did I just explode? That was mana hound doing the mana hound thing Okay But you can see why I would be concerned about this unit We are gonna take the loss here, but I it was an anticipated loss that I'm fine with I just can't let them get into that position when we don't have um, a corner busting unit anyways. Like we can't, we just can't rock that. Uh, so I will upgrade this for sure. I will get wild axe for sure. And we need to do some serious adjusting on this. Um, yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll just get more attack speed. Uh, so this does make it so they take more blunt damage, so we don't want to be fighting against somebody who does blunt damage, which is just going to be... Yeah. Only... Only the Lightsmith. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. This is awkward. If we do something like this, I actually love this placement of the rogue, though. So I'm going to move this here. I know this kind of sucks, but I love this rogue placement. It gets the it gets plus 30 damage right there, and it also steals all the damage from them, which seems important because they're putting so much effort into their rogue. It has a three level three energy boot, and it's already tier two here. So that's a really big deal for them for me to be able to steal from them. Okay, that targeting switch was not in our favor whatsoever. And yeah, these look at this look at this shield. These energy boots are out of control. This is this is the meta with it. That's what you put. They have more shield than they have health. Like I I'm going to lose this. They have more shield than they have health. But they're not getting as much shield now cuz they're not t teleporting as far. It's going to be a oh, the silence. This is uh this is a dumb as hell fight, but we actually have them. That was a stupid little fight. I can't believe we actually won that one there. I, I thought that we were going to have to take a couple more turns, turns before we pivoted this into a win for us. But apparently we can just win there. I thought that we were going to have to take a couple more losses. But uh, I'm going to pass on the adapt. I will take the pilfer because I don't know if they notice what I'm going for there. Finally get poison arrows. Uh, this makes it so we do a little bit of piercing poison damage. Uh, for every hit from the Grenadier. Uh, we do have to... We move first now, which means that they will probably move out of my Rogue's Pilfer range. If they're paying attention. Oh, Jesus. Mana Blade. It gives them a lot of mana, so they're going to be able to cast their ability a lot. 
Like, I need to target them, but the thing is, if I target them, they're just gonna move. That's like what they, that's like what they do, so... Uh, I'm going to scooch you here. Oop, okay. I, I, I should have moved faster. That's on me. I should have moved quicker. I'm assuming, yep, that makes a lot of, oh, yeah, they, they know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. So they don't get pilfered, and, uh, more importantly, or not less importantly, they get this slight little um, shielding from the movement that they do here. So that's going to bite us in the butt. They're stealing our mana. I don't think we're going to be... We are able to teleport out in time. It's... I don't know that it's going to be relevant. And the Grenadier, of course, we picked it to counter something that we are not fighting against now. We just got unlucky with, with drafting out that deck there. Like, I, I picked it so that we wouldn't have to deal with a corner baby again, but um, that has nothing to do with this. We are obviously going to lose this here. They are full in on the rogue, and that's the thing. If you get a, a rogue that's really strong, the fact that you can't... Like, how am I supposed to... How am I supposed to focus them down? You know? Like, if I if I put all of my resources into... Um, targeting them down, they're just going to move. <laughs> they are just... They are going to leave, is what they are going to do. I will say the best idea I kind of have is going all in on the pilfer so that when I do lose here, like in the events that I do lose, I get to, um, I'm going to lock this so I get the econ. If I, oh, I do have to win still. I'll tell you what, it's not going to change anything for me to do anything with that right now. I fully expect them to try and run away with the rogue, but that's the thing. I will at least be able to pilfer the 25. It's in their best interest to have the rogue outside of uh, the range of anybody else. And I think they will. I think they know too. Yes. Alright, we have that there. It's largely just for the pilfer steal. And we are going to steal a lot. Like, it, it's really nice. And then they're going to teleport in, and we don't actually, we actually don't want to be the furthest one away. Oh, I did not think you would switch targets, but it's probably going to be okay. All right, so hopefully they do, like, they're doing it quite a bit less. It's, I don't know that it's going to make the difference, but we've created a, a big amalgamation of chaos that hopefully ends up working out in our favor. We're going to need to level up our wolves. I would say not getting the two wolves probably would have been a better call. But here we go. We can't make uh we can't change it. No one else can feel it for you. Only you can let it in. That silence is going to hopefully do a little bit of work. Uh, we're going to teleport. He's going to go for the Grenadier, which is the ideal target, I would say, at this point. Not good in a 1v1. We will get the silence off. And we are going to we are going to take out the win here on the back of the fact that they don't do nearly as much damage anymore. We got the Pilfer. Here's the issue. I can only reliably get the Pilfer if I lose. So... That is not... That's not a reliable situation. Not at all. Um, upgrading my rogue would be very nice. Upgrading the wolf would be nice, but I think we need to... I'm not getting a lot of mileage out of Wild Axe, but I could upgrade it all in one right now, which is kind of ideal. I don't think that Kiros is going to do jack squat for us. There's nobody who's really in a good cleave situation. I think I literally tunnel for wolf or rogue. I lose this one. Like I'm 99% sure I lose this one, so I'm going to I'm going to tunnel more. I'm 99% I lose this one. There's no way he leaves his rogue in my in a position where I can get him. No way in hell. So I think like I, I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna insult his intelligence and n leave the rogue here. I'm not gonna insult his intelligence and do that. The question is, where can I move to solve this? That, yeah, gotta move a little bit faster there. I'm not gonna insult int his intelligence. I know. I know that. Clearly, they've uh, they 
shown that they know what to do about Pilfer. So I want to at least get something. We got the plus 25. It's a thing. Okay, what is going on here in this fight? You got to get out of there, Rogue. You got to get out of there. Okay, we got out of there. But we're going to lose to this here. Yeah, the Lightsmith hit level 3 now. So they there is now a second threat that's actually kind of juicy. Which is a problem for us. We get the silence off. Spirit Wolf going to get a little bit of a heal. Yeah, no, it's a it's an L. It's an L, but hey. As I mentioned, I expected that entirely. But the thing is now we get the loss. And we want the loss. If we have Pilfer, we want to lose very barely. We want to have a tiny loss as a treat. We want a little loss as a treat. If we're gonna if we're gonna be doing this. So I'm gonna oh God, do we do we tunnel tunnel rogue? Okay. All right, we tunnel rogue. We we steal the rogue. It is I now. Um, you move first. Let's see what you do. He's about to hit level three rock golem. That's scary. He's about to hit level three mana hound. I I need this game to end fast. Is what I need to have happen. And it doesn't look like it's going to. He's about to hit level three mana blade. It's just nuts. You trying to tempt me into stealing all of this? Because I could be convinced. I could be convinced. That's a lot of damage stealing. I want to get that AoE. I know he might die. That's a lot of damage. That's plus 75. That might be worth it. That might be worth it, man. I think I could be convinced. Because we, got to be honest, we are a level 3 now, too. We are also a level 3 uh, rogue. We don't need to invest ourselves in stopping them. We can invest ourselves in destroying them with our own units now. Like, we don't have to just stop their strong one. We can power through with our own strength uh, because of that. He, he left an opening where I could target three enemies. I'm, I'm going to do that. Like, instead of just ruining this a little bit, it was the play. Uh... Wild Axe sounds nice. It gives a little bit of a cleave as a treat again. Once more. Oh, oh my god, what do I do? Oh my god, what do I do? I should, like, I think I need to go all in. Again, I need to end this game fast. I need to end this game now. Let's get me two possible... Okay, I was going to say two possible options there. Alright, we have a tier 2 Wild Axe. That should be nice. I don't think I need to lock that. All right. Um. Just trying to keep this rogue situation under check. I'm going to do that, but they're going to move the mana hound. They're going to yeah, they're going to move this in and theoretically move the mana hound down. But again, here's the situation. If I lose, I get god tier pill for placement. Like, I get to pick the Pilfer placement. He needs to build in a... Sp oh. That's... Oh, he got it. Okay, good. I was going to say. I was about to feel real bad. That being said, that gives me prime targeting on the Mana Hound, who I would rather have dead first, because we can kill very quickly before we move on to the back line over here. So that's really not that bad. We teleport to... Yep, the Rogue. We get the little bit of the Silence off, which is very nice. The Silence means they get less shields. Uh, we win this, and we win this now. Not bad. Not bad, not bad, not bad. I'm happy about it. I'm happy about it. Two, two for three, I'll, I'll take it. Two for three, losing to Raleigh corner strats while doing my best to counter counter strats from a deck construction and gameplay standpoint. I'll take it. That's fine. Like, I did my darndest on that one. And uh, alas, alas, that's that, though. That's going to do it here for uh, for Godsbane. There will be a link at the top of the description for you to pick up the game for yourself. I do highly recommend it. It's a lot of fun. 50% off is uh, the deepest discount it's gone on. Uh, it is So you can pick it up right now for $7.49. Unlike other like auto battlers or PvP auto battlers, things like that, where it's e like free, but then they gouge you with any kind of microtransaction or something, this is a much more just upfront, honest um, system. You literally just... You pay 
the price once. You have everything forever. You go against other players. It's just, it's very clean, very, like, I, I like the system of that a lot. It doesn't feel too scummy. I'm not, like, there's no nickel and diming or anything. It's not like paying for more characters or anything like that. It's literally just pay once up front, get all the units, get all the spells, go have fun, do what you want. Uh, so, alas, this has been Godsbane. I, I enjoyed this game so much. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. And a huge thank you again to... Oop, to the team for sponsoring this video for the Godsbane team, uh, sponsoring this video here, reaching out. Always a pleasure to, to speak with them. They're very kind, very nice crew. Uh, so this was not a this was not a difficult decision to make. I'm happy to help with the um, the uh, season one launch here, and I hope you guys will check it out. And if you did not buy it after the last video, I hope now is the time. I really do. Uh, alas, thank you for watching. My name is Retromation, covering the games every single day, typically with a specialty in roguelites but i am an absolute sucker for any auto battler uh pvp or otherwise i will check out a new one if there's a new good one uh so you can uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel to notify yourself when new ones of those come out i will not miss a good one so alas thank you for watching thank you thank you i'll see you next time bye the game bye